My first experience at the YMCA was actually in Katie's class. Um, from the moment I walked in, I really felt like this is where I belonged. Everybody was very welcoming here. Really, from then on, I knew that this is where, this is where I wanted to be. So. Oh, the YMCA just means so much to me. Um, when I was in high school, I actually started with the Y. It was a place that was accepting and uplifting and inspiring and comfortable, and it just felt like a family. So as a first time foster parent, no other children in her home, and also working full time, child care after school and child care through the summer was our biggest challenge to being able to do foster care, to be part of that system. The YMCA was the solution that made that possible. Other than fitness and being in the best shape of my life that I've ever been in right now, other than that, I feel like I've grown as a person. Um, I got the chance to be a coach of my son's soccer team. And for me, a few years ago, that was like really going outside of my comfort zone to do something like that. And I really felt like I was out of my element, but you know, I knew that these kids needed to have a coach and that this was important for them. So I thought, well, I might as well do it. We really are in an impoverished area and these kids need this, you know. They need to be able to come in here and have a safe space and to be able to play basketball or lift weights if they want to or just be together and chill out here and play checkers, you know. I grew up very impoverished so I know what it's like to not have the money to ever be able to do anything, you know. I mean, there were points in my life where as a kid I had to wash my clothes in the bathtub, you know, and hang them outside just to have clean clothes to wear. So, um, I'm not a stranger to what that's like, and I think that that is so incredible that they would have that type of opportunity. I wasn't expecting the community to be as tight knit as it was. You know, I didn't really know what I was getting into whenever I came here. Probably one of the biggest impacts for me was when my mom passed away uh, last September. Um, and my friends in the class, you know, they all knew what I was going through and they all gathered around me and we prayed together. They made sure that I knew that, you know, I was on their minds and their hearts and they were praying for my family. And it was, it was such a difficult time and it's still difficult today, but to know that I have friends and a community that would come around me and, you know, let me know that they love me, you know, and that I mattered, um, that mattered to me. I was always a high school athlete. I did dance. I danced on ESPN in high school. As I moved into college, I didn't have as much time at the Y until 2010. <laughs> and in 2010, I had a really horrific car accident. I crushed everything from the knee down on this leg. And I was supposed to never ever walk again, never run again, never dance again, never lift weights, none of it. And it was a 100% chance my leg was gonna be amputated. Not 99, not 98, 100%. And I fought it with everything I had. So in 2011, I was able to come back to the Y with this really bulky fiberglass, <laughs> ridiculously leg support with the rocker bottom shoes. And I happened to end up going into a Zumba class. It was a place that I just found this electric energy and support and the instructor asked me immediately what had happened, what my story was, and as soon as she heard it, she would tell me how much she wanted me in those classes and what it meant to her for me to be in those classes. 2016 rolled around, and this time I was uh, diagnosed with CML leukemia. What was different between this kind of um, battle was that I had a idea of how I mobilize and make it through it, and the YMCA was a cornerstone. Of it. That was my place of health and healing and surrounding myself with positive people. And so it was, just became a place that was extremely special and healing for the, bo the broken, the discouraged, the sad, the down. Um, they're here in our classes, in our facilities for a reason. It has been a wonderful support to us. I work full time, so go club after school 
is a game changer for me. It gives the kids a fun time to play with their friends and lots of activities and then I can pick them up afterwards and we come home and do family. When Amaya and Aaliyah came into our care and I was looking for after school care or summer care, there were no other options. Everyone else stopped at like six years old or second grade, they're 10 years old. The Y was the only option and it was also an amazing option. Wonderful people, lots of activities, great program, and the kids loved it. Being able to be very consistently at the same place every day with the same people supporting them has what has created the firm foundation for them to learn and grow in school, you know, academics, socially, because they have their basic needs of safety and care taken care of. So scholarships, I think, were the game changer for us at the YMCA. The YMCA is more than just a program where you can drop your kids off at. It's more than just a place that you can go and work out. The people at the YMCA and the people who are drawn to the YMCA and to serve our community are invaluable to us. What we do is much bigger than just a gym. This is a, this is a safe haven and a healing um, place for people to come and what we do is so important and any donations that we have enables you know people to access our service. People need this, people need the fellowship. It's more than just fitness. You know fitness is an aspect but this is a community. 